and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Morgan. I'm Ty Salam. It's great to have you join us again. All right, let's get on with the show. This is what it looks like. Um, we're starting off uh, with uh, the Chan Eagles. The home base Super Eagles will be in action against Togo. That's in a Chan qualifier and the thrill 1-4. So we're asking today, is the mission impossible for Nigeria to overturn that 1-4 deficit or they will get the job done at the Agege Stadium on Saturday? They just have to get. They just have to. <laughs> they just get have that to, right? Done because all they need is three goals. Score three and don't concede, and they will be in Chan. Also on the program is this one. Uh, well, the basketball final eight. Talking about the women's league, we dunk up to today precisely 10 a.m. And the first matchup is going to be between Plateau Rocks and also Delta Force. They will be opening the game today at the National Stadium right here in Lagos. Exactly. So if you're interested in watching the best of local basketball, that is for the women, you know where to go to. Uh, so Larry, also on the show, um, the Lagos Open is uh, in the quarterfinal stage and we're glad to tell you Nigeria's Oilama Barakat Quadri is in the quarterfinal. She defeated our opponents yesterday 6-2, 6 to 6, 1 0. The opponent retired, unfortunately, uh, but that hasn't stopped Quadri from marching on into the last eight of the competition. The only unseeded player left in the tournament. Absolutely, we set a target for her and she's been able to make it. Yeah. Whatever happens now, well, we'll just be a bonus for Uyilomo. And the thing is, only unseeded player left. And you know, the first leg was won by a player that was not seeded. What are you trying to Who say? Knows? What are you trying to <laughs> say? Like this here in Lagos. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, I was following that particular matchup. Yeah. Uh, when she took the first set, I was like, yeah, yes. just one more to no. go. <laughs> then when I found out um, Kurovich uh, retired like, hot so in the second set. Out. Yeah, so I thought, okay, fantastic. So it's a good one mm -hmm. uh, for Nigeria. I mean, first and second leg, this is going Absolutely. to be the first Nigerian to get into the quarterfinals. And that's very, very impressive. We're going to talk more about this in a bit now. We have a guest that's going to join us and review everything that went down yesterday. But before then, let's enjoy uh, the best points of the day, of the second round at the Lagos Open.
you welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. You saw highlights of the best points uh, played in the second round of the Lagos Open at Onikon. We are glad, we're excited that Nigeria is still a part of this competition. That's Onyla Mubarakat Quadri, who's made it into the last eight. Tracy Chappell has joined us now to talk about this and a lot more on Sport this morning. Tracy, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. A wet day it is in Lagos, but uh, it's popping off here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We're going to try and keep it warm as, as possible by talking, uh, you know, exciting sports on the show. Let's start with it. Uh, let's continue where we left off. That's the Lagos our Tennis Championships are going on right now. We had a quarterfinal stage. Let's see the results of the second round uh, matches uh, played yesterday, and uh, you get a better idea of what Onyeloma Quadri uh, did. Uh, in those games. Uh, there you go. She's the very first uh, result uh, on your screen. 6-2, uh, 1-0. One, one yeah. love was one leading love. Tamara Krovic uh, in the second set. Uh, but the Serbian eighth seed had to retire with an injury uh, in that one. You never want to see your opponents, uh, you know, retire injured. But Quadri was playing fantastically well before then. So she'll be very delighted uh, to go into the last eight Elsewhere, Laura Pigosi. Cecilia, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Taking on Blessing Samuel. We knew it was going to be a very, very 44 difficult task. minutes, she was done. Straight, 6-love yeah. and 6-1. And that was the end of the road floor for Blessing Samuel. Elsewhere, Sion Mendes defeated Lexi Stevens, 6-2 and 6-4. Sion is the number one seed. Mm -hmm. uh, she is looking for her seventh ITF title. So she's uh, very, very seasoned. Uh, on the circuit, so no surprises there at all. Raya Batia defeated Isabella Kruja. Kruja 7-5 and 6-4, while Sandra Samir defeated uh, Nika 6-4, 6-2. Rutuja Bosale 6-1, 6-1 over Soanjaya, while Nasja Kola yeah, came from a set down to defeat yeah. her. Sada nine man. Ah, Cecilia. Cecilia, what's going on? We're coming on. there, right? <laughs> ah, too bad. She won the first leg, so that, that would be major consolation now the for her. She's uh, for Sada, the Brunian uh, young star right there. Last but not the least, um, Strakova of the Ukraine. That's the second seed. Uh, thrashed uh, Jasmine Jabawai, 6 1 and 6 love. So that's how. Yeah, um, those are is. the games that were played in the second round in the women's uh, singles. So let's come and talk about mm -hmm. our own right now. Mm -hmm. Oyelama Quadri. Cecilia has got a big smile on her face, and uh, <laughs> Tracy as well has got a big smile on her face. We're all delighted because this has not been done in a very long time. And usually, when uh, they get to the stage of the competition, it is always, it's always been the ceiling uh, for Nigerian players in mm, yeah. the second round. Now we have uh, a very young girl, she's just 16 showing that she can actually mix it with the best players on ITF circuits. Oh, yes. Um, it's a very good day when you get to talk about a Nigerian that's actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with people who already have a world view, bigger experiences, <laughs> bigger like tricks in their bag, um, more tricks in their bag to, to deal out across court. But I like the fact that when she lost out on the first phase in the competition, yeah. there was a way she she, she, she broke down yeah. court side. She mm -hmm. broke down. And I like the fact that she dragged herself up. It's a mental sport. Tennis is one of the biggest mental sports Absolutely. that you can ever get. And I like the way she approached the game. Now I see that she's going to be facing Valeria. Valeria mm. is almost like 10 years at yeah. fact. And second seed, yes, but mm. for a girl that's almost like 25, she has not exceeded a certain level. You already know her tricks in the back, so you can actually prep for her. For instance, she likes, um, uh, she likes backhand, double backhands, and um, what's that other one? She has two major moves that she has, basically. But for someone like Oyilomo, she is a wild card. A wild card indeed, because mm. she is still developing her game. She could play like a Pliskova on a day, like yesterday. She was having, she was reminiscent of a Pliskova. She could play like a Kuznetsova on another day, because she's still developing her game. So I feel like when it comes to this quarterfinal, the matchup will be scintillating. Why? Because there's someone we already know, and there's someone we, we, we don't, don't know. know. Yeah. And I think the person to be scared of, everybody is scared of, is actually Quadri because she has been the top seed before. Unfortunately, when it comes to blessing, she didn't take a lesson from the first phase. Mm -hmm. She had time to gather her thoughts together, 
talk to her team, our supporters, and know what kind of um, she approach to she needs to take for um, the, movie, um, the second phase of the competition. But unfortunately, you can't come in front of your Nigerian fans a year of waiting, and then you give us a donut. Not even that. No, you start Tracy, off. to be fair to <laughs> Blessing, she was taken on the beaten <laughs> finalist exactly. uh, from the first from leg. The first so, Pigosi is a very good, very good, very good player. Mm. And you, like you said before, you started your analysis. Pigosi is about 31, right? A lot of these girl, girls, so lot this girls are very seasoned on the ITF. She on the ITF circuit. She let the moments get to her. Because I feel like you can't be playing Pigosi that you have show highlights. She has reels. So, you know. The moves she will fall. She's not as quick across court anymore. She's not as athletic. So you knew that if you drop the balls closer to the net, it will take she will her. Get it. But I mean, if you watch the game between uh, Sada and Pigosi, uh, Pigosi had a way of just moving Sada all around the court. If Sada was tired, she'd have been able to, she could have lost that game. Yes. So she's a, a player that stays on the baseline for like forever. Mm. So that movement is not there. So she doesn't easily get tired out. So mm. when you are playing a player who stay in the game, who doesn't move around the court that much and moves you around the other side and you don't have the experience, there's a tendency that you may not just get it. Yeah, oh. trick shots would have helped. Oh, but unfortunately, you said, can't give what you don't have. I'm good as shit. That's Easier the thing. Easier said than done. Exactly. I know, right? But right? it's right? on tour right now. Let's see. Right? really doesn't have. Exactly. But they don't know. Because see the Brazilian, she's got more. Let's cut blessings. She's based Bless in Spain, Spain or some Europe, slack. So. Yeah, yeah. But as she, the second set, she managed to yeah, well, so at least on <laughs> the Nigeria. Game, Thank, you. Thank you. She won a game. She right. won a game. So won won a game. Let's move on now. The quarterfinal uh, lineup is set now. That's uh, for the women and the men. Let's see the women's singles. And first of all, Cecilia Sione Mendes, yeah. number one seed, taking on Raya Batia, number six seed. While Sandra Samir will take on Rutuja Bosali, and Laura Pigose will take on Nas Jacola, Baraka Oinloma Quadri, who's a wild card. Will take on Valeria Stratkova, the Ukrainian second seed. Uh, to go forward or I end of the she, road? She, she could. I think, she could. Yeah, she could. I oh. won't. I won't count her out. I feel like she's experienced oh. enough to use her inexperience to work for her. So I think anything is possible. I wish her Barakata uh, all the best uh, today. 11 a.m. She's going to be second on center court. So, I mean, if you have time and you're around Onikon, just, just try and go and show. Time, yes. Yeah, get a ticket. Show her, you know, all the support. Uh, you know, she needs every bit of it. Uh, she's going to advance into the last four of the competition. The men's singles quarterfinals, let's not forget them. It's very easy to forget them because no Nigerian made it this far. <laughs> but they will also be in action, Cecilia. Absolutely, you have a Gianni Gianni Nina. Nina. And Takeya Karaganga, that's mm. this one, is still making with David Pitcher and Adin Setkic, the guy who made it to, to the, the final. final. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he just couldn't, I mean, he lost it, mm. so to speak. Aziz Kwaka and Aziz Douglas will be in action. You have mm. Kevin Henry <laughs> and Benjamin Log. The other Benjamin uh, is out. I yeah. mean, Kevin Henry was the one responsible for mm -hmm. the lock, the first lock loss. And now he's going to be facing another lock again. And the court finance. It's going to be man. these two Zimbabwe brothers. Tough luck, tough luck. The way it's looking like well, perfect opportunity to have Having said he came here to win, to win the double. The two just titles. win one and win the second. Wow. That's what he came here for. He's a man on a mission. And he's and... done one already. Mm. And the lady who did it in the first round, she's not into the quarterfinals. Yeah. So we might just have him achieving his aim and his dreams and you all know, you all know who we're rooting for as well too. yeah we all know we're rooting for <laughs> 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 she is i mean he's nigerian so why not yeah <laughs>